my mum was breast cancer, my grandfather <laughs> was um, stomach cancer, my nanny lung cancer and my other nan uh, stomach cancer. So it really is, I mean, I've been suffocated by, by yeah. cancer. So, of course, I've had to lift my own awareness, you know. Uh, I'm not going to be the sort of person that sort of every single day thinks, oh, is it me? Although I do do. And, and it has been, been times when I've, I've thought, oh, you know, but it's awareness that I've given myself, you know, mm -hmm. like with smear tests and, and the, my GPs are brilliant. But it's like, would I have that test, you know, the gene pool test? Yeah. I can't do it to myself. I can't. I'm the sort of person that I live every day for today you know what happens tomorrow I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow mm. you know and and so I enjoy life I don't want someone to tell me and go oh you've got the you've got the gene pool I mean it's kind of Is that obvious because you feel they they would you'd then be forced into having to make the decision. Yeah, absolutely, like the double mastectomy, yeah. you know, if it's the breast, you know, yeah, the, yeah. the lymph nodes, all that. I saw that with my mum and it, it was really, really hard. You know, I fully know what to look out for, what things, if within your body, if it changes and goes different, you know, so then I can go to my GP and go, well, can you check me? and, and see mm. what, what goes on from there. But I don't want to put myself out there, really. Mm. I'm, I'm, I, I've been quite well, nervous. Look, we've got a picture of you and your oh, mum there. Beautiful right? mama. Oh. She's beautiful. Look when did smile. your mum pass away? Uh, it was four years ago now. Just God, over... not long ago. How no. old was she? She was 58 when she passed. Oh, that's young. I know. Yeah, so it was breast cancer. She survived that for 12 years, and then it went to the liver and the pancreas oh. at the end. Um, you know, and she, she, was, she was my rock, my everything, and I was you were blessed. very close, you, Super really? close. But if you was my friend, could yeah. you say you don't I know. Go on. It's all right. It's OK. Um, if you were my friend, I would say go and get checked because you, you kind of have to. I would make you go because what if something did happen? But at least if you did know, you could sort of plan. You seem quite confident and stuff, but yeah. just for like... Well, you've seen what everyone's gone through just for yourself, really. It's no, just... I am. I'm super confident as a person, but I just don't want to... I don't want to be branded with that. I think I've realised and I've come to terms with the inevitable. But, you know, I could walk out of the studio and get knocked down by a bus. I'm not going to live my yeah. life. So I'm, I'm, I'm a full-hearted person that lives every day. And, and you go and get the checkups that you're meant to get. I do. And yeah. Meant to get yeah, them. like for smears. I know like all the yeah. ladies get the, the letters every three years, mm -hmm. you know. I don't. I go to my GP and say, can you just check me once a year? But it's do you always manage to keep it that rational I mean or do you never get the sort of worm in your head that, that just you know you feel something and and you just as you say go to the internet yeah. and, and just start to drive yourself crazy well I was looking on the internet and there was a section looking about shoulder pain right and I was on the train coming down to London for work as normal and I lifted my big massive case with all my stuff in and I was like that well obviously the pain was from the heaviness of the case but the whole journey for two hours and ten minutes I was on the internet oh shoulder pain oh, and it wasn't it's because I'd wrenched my shoulder yeah. you know and talking of smears, I think it's quite important that I never had a smear up until this year. Um, wow. Really, I, Katie? I what? swear, I never knew. I always presumed that, you, you know when you get letters through the post, I just threw them away because I thought from the age of 23 I've been pregnant and I thought that when you're pregnant they automatically do smears and check you. It's only until last year I realised that isn't true. So if you think about it, all these years I've never had a smear. No, but I think should. people should know that... Um, yeah, because it's, well, it's three, like it's me. I was just three years, isn't it? it? I think they've raised the age a little bit in, yeah. in England. Yeah, I yeah. think it's around 25 now. Don't it's not nice. Know. It's not comfortable. Every three years. But I advise anyone out there, don't be stupid like me and just think, you know doctors check everything because they actually don't. But that's the good thing. I think we can all come together. We're not yeah. frightened of talking about yeah. cancer anymore. And the more we do together speak, you know, men and women, it, it helps the awareness and then we're, we're, we're aware of our bodies, which is great. And isn't it true, long... you don't have to wait for the letter. You can no. book it in and ask for one. Yeah, mm. should you? And, like, there's all well woman clinics, you know. Just go have your blood taken and then it's, again, peace of mind. But we're mm. quite lazy. We are. We've always put things... It's weird. When it comes to health, you always put things off and think, oh, yeah, I'll go, I'll go, because it's you, you know, no, your life just be, goes, yeah. and really, it's the wrong thing to do. You should really... Do you not worry about it, Katie? I was, I was going to say... No. Sorry? What? No. What? No, I'm, I'm quite healthy. Um, because, it um, you know, you're in this lovely relationship that yeah. we're not going to talk about. Yeah. Um, but, do you know, have you thought about... Because I do this, um, you know, if it is genetic, how you would feel about if you have want to have children yeah. or... Yeah, I mean, I thought about it long and hard and, and I've discussed it, with, especially with all my mates at home. We've got, like, loads of kids and, and you know, I live like, my life vicariously being a, a great godmother and, and certainly to my two lovely nephews. But for me, I don't want to put a child through the pain I went through seeing the last three years of my mum and four years ago when she passed. I, I couldn't do that to a child. So I've made that 
conscious decision that I'm not going to have a child naturally. I'm not. But Lisa, you had that love with your mum, that fantastic yeah. love. That's I know. surely what you concentrate on. I do, and, I, and I do, and that, that is a winning cause. However, the pain sometimes, when I'm on my own, we all have moments like yeah, that. Yeah, do you yeah. mean you know? because you're frightened of passing it on genetically? Yeah, yeah so, genetically. So therefore, would you, a female cancer. would you think about adopting children? Fully, and, I, and it's something I'm very, very much thinking about adopting because I think I could be a wonderful mother, give a kid a great home, you know, a lovely life, and, and, and it's something that I would love to do. I'd oh, love lovely. to adopt. I really would, and, and who knows what's around the corner, but it's definitely at the forefront of my, of my mm. thoughts, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about I you, mean, Colleen? How do you deal with it? Because, obviously, th is it three sisters? Three sisters with breast cancer. Yeah. Wow. And, um, and also my mum with Alzheimer's. And oh, really? so I... I worry about it a lot, and I think the older you get, you start to worry. Since I hit, and would you have the gene pool test? Um, I oh, was going Bernie. to have it, but yeah. oh, but um, Bernie and Linda, yeah. um, they had to test them first, and when they tested them, they didn't carry the gene, yeah. so therefore they said you you don't need to have it. But they still think it's, although it's not the BRCA one or two, they mm -hmm. still think it could be genetic. Yeah. But there was no genetic test for me because they didn't. But I did say. If I have this, I, and they say I carry the gene, I, I had the conversation with Ray about would I have a double mastectomy, would yeah. I have a hysterectomy? Mm. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, I probably would because I just want to live. I yeah. want to live as long as I can. If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments.